Enjoy yourself here on the couch. I it's, am. it's a little safer I, here. I, I it think. is safer and I'm yeah. warm. Good. Well, our first guest is an extreme <laughs> adventure seeker. He's embarking on a 10-month trek that will take him from Florida to Quebec. Mm -hmm. John Davis launched his kayak into Key Largo Sound on February 3rd. He will paddle, hike, cycle, raft, and ski over 4,500 miles. John Davis joins us now to talk about why he's doing this, and he's joined by Margot McKnight, Executive Director of the Wildlands Network. So, John... 4,500 miles. Without a car. <laughs> <laughs> Without a car. It's an adventure. It's fun. It sure is an adventure. How did you prepare for this? Well, or can you? I've tended to be physically active most of my life, so I didn't, I didn't actually do any formal training, but I've always done a lot of bicycling and hiking and paddling and so forth, so I felt like I was fairly well fit for the adventure. Can you explain to us exactly why you're doing this? Because um, not a lot of people maybe know. Yeah, certainly. Well, partly it is a physical adventure. I'm going to travel at least 4,500 miles, probably a good bit more, up through the wilder parts of the eastern United States. But more important, it's a conservation mission. I'm trying to get out the word about wildlife, animals, plants, and the habitats they need to survive and the importance of connecting those wildlife mm -hmm. habitats. Uh, Margot, tell us about Wildlands Network and, and what it is exactly that you guys do. Wildlands Network is about um, not just connecting nature to itself, but people to nature. And one of the things that I love about this trek is, like someone like you, Jamie, you definitely should go out there and show us your favorite wild place, because I'm guessing you'd be able to do it in a really spectacular way. But people that love the outdoors, like uh -huh. snowboarding and other things, we're trying to connect hot with them. Hot tubbing. Hot tubbing. <laughs> Extreme hot no, tubbing. Really, exactly. We do do things, honestly. <laughs> no, but this is, this is great, because it's so important. It is. It's connecting nature to itself and people to that idea of connectivity, because a lot of people don't get that animals Animals need room to roam, they need to move, find mates. We all have experiences with animals dying on roadways and mm -hmm. no one likes that, including the insurance companies. So trying to get animals across barriers and trying to plan ahead so that it makes um, financial sense too. John, is there a way that people can track you as you're doing this? Uh, I think there's some social networking Yes, the Wildlands Network website, which is simply wildlandsnetwork.org, will be tracking the whole journey, all 10 months of the journey, and we will also be on Facebook and Twitter and so forth. Very easy to follow, and I also invite people to join me out in the field. Tell us about the journey so far, because you did start February 3rd. How's it been going? Any any mishaps along the way? Uh, it has been a wonderful journey so far. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've gone about 500 miles, uh, again, paddling, cycling, hiking, so forth. Fabulous wildlife, dolphins, manatees, oh. shorebirds, wading birds, crocodiles, alligators, wonderful, wonderful creatures. And you never yeah. felt like you were in danger when you saw any of that wildlife? No, the wildlife has not been a, a it's always been exciting and thrilling. The cars, when I've been bicycling on busy roads, that's been a little bit scary at times. Yeah, it's the, it's the human animal you have to watch out for, right? Yes. Mm. What's the scariest thing that's happened to you so far with, say, an alligator or one of the wildlife? Well, I cannot say any animal has actually scared me yet. So far, they've all been no fun and calls, exciting. No close calls? Nothing? No, I wouldn't say so. Can you uh, make yes. some up? I could. <laughs> I, could no, I could say I would love to see a Florida panther, and if a Florida panther oh. happens to happens to give me a scare some evening, I will be the happiest person around. <laughs> now, I saw some beautiful photographs there. Are you taking these? Or are you taking these? Lots Michael? of folks are contributing to these, so. So you've got some company. You're not doing this totally solo. So a lot of it is solo. A lot of it with, is with friends and colleagues. Okay. Both. Um, you're cycling. You're rafting. You're skiing. Um, Later. Who, who's not carrying yet. on your gear? Because obviously you don't have all that on your back. How are you doing that? No, I, I meet colleagues who are along the way and get re-equipped. And I won't, obviously I won't be dealing with skis until late in the trip. Probably in the northern Appalachians in November I'll be on skis. Ah. Margo, do you have cameras uh, following him to make a special or anything like that? Well, what's wonderful is John is, is learning the technology himself. So we, we have some cameras that are meeting him once in a while. Mm -hmm. And then he's kind of cataloging it himself. Because we want it to be from his perspective, too. An outside camera gives you a different view. So what is this like? And people want to join him and they want to they want to be part of this. And obviously not everyone can take off all these months and do it. So what we're asking them, the ones that can't actually join John, is to go out and do your own sort of experience and then give us your information, give upload your videos, tell us mm -hmm. your stories, and we're gonna put it on our website and grow this idea of networks of people loving nature and what does nature need, the connectivity part. So everyone can get outside and do their own, whether you're in Tampa or you're in um, Canada. So we're mm -hmm. really encouraging the virtual part. We want people to join John either virtually or do their own. 
Well, it's so important, and we, we have to all work together to yeah. protect this fragile planet that we live on. So good luck to you. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to be able to track you along the way. I so hope you will. And I hope we can talk to you when you finish. I look forward to it. <laughs> good luck, and thank you Thank both. you. All right, best of luck with your track coming up next. We have an acoustic performance by the